Hello and welcome back. In this part of the tutorial, we are going to start with the front end development. Now, before beginning with the coding, I would like to upgrade the version of Timeleaf that the project is making use of. If you open up this pom.xml file and click on dependency hierarchy, and here if you search for Timeleaf, you see that the project is making use of Timeleaf version 2.1.6. And at the moment we have timely version 3 so I'll upgrade this I'll click on pop node XML here and look for properties then I'll type here timely dot version and I'll set this to 3.0.2 dot release And I'll also set the time leaf layout dialect. So time leaf layout dialect dot version. This should be 2.1.1. I'll save that. And next, if you look in the dependency hierarchy, you'll see that the version of time leaf has been upgraded. So with this in place, I'm going to use the time leaf layout dialect and create a main layout page that can be used by all the other HTML pages. So I'll close this and in this templates folder here, I'll create another folder and call it fragments. So in this folder, I'm going to create two fragments. One will be the header and another one will be the footer. A fragment is basically an HTML component that can be used in other HTML pages. So I'll right click here and create the first one. It will be an HTML page and I'll call it header.html. I'll get rid of this and declare here a header. And I'll make this header into a fragment. So th fragment. And I'll call it header. The issue here is the time leaf namespace. We are going to be declaring it in the page that will be making use of this fragment. So there is no need declaring it here. I'll copy this and paste it here and change this name to footer. I'll change this to footer and make this into a div. Now in this footer, I'll just type the following. Next, I'll create the main layout page. So I'll right click here and create another HTML page. I'll call it main underscore layout dot HTML. Finish. I'll get rid of this. And bring in the fragments we just defined into this page. So I'll create here a div. And here I'll type the ish replace fragment header header. This basically means replace this div with a fragment that is called header that is found in a file called header.html and the file is located in a folder called fragment. I'll copy this and do the same thing for the footer. So this should then be footer and footer. Next I'll create a layout fragment. So I'll add here a div and type here layout fragment. I'll call it content. So this means that 
the HTML page that is going to be making use of this layout will be displayed in this content div. There is also no need to add the layout and the time leaf namespace in this page since it will be added in the page that will be making use of this main layout. So next I'm going to create a navbar in the header fragment and I'll be using Bootswash to do that. Bootswash is basically a customized version of Bootstrap that has some beautiful themes. If you head over to bootswash.com, you'll see all the different themes that are available. I'll be using this material theme and you can as well download Bootswash from this GitHub page. Okay, I already did that and extracted it. So what I'll do now, I'll copy the material theme into the project. So here you can see the different themes. I'm interested in the material theme, this one. So I'll just copy this and bring it into my project. So in the source resources folder here, I'll create another folder and call it CSS. And in this folder, I'll paste the folder I just copied. To use this theme, we also need jQuery and the bootstrap.js file. And we can install that as a dependency. So I'll open up pom.xml and click on dependencies. And here I'll look for bootstrap. I'll take the latest version, which is bootstrap 4 and click on OK. And I'll also look for jQuery. Also here I'll take the highest version here. And I'll also add this webjar locator. This one. I'll click on OK and save that. And next I'll add these dependencies in the main layout.html file. So let me open that up. So in the head section here, I'll bring in this bootstrap.min.css file. So I'll type link. We are using time leaf, so this should be th href. And as you can see, we are inside the fragment folder, so we need to go up two levels to access this file here. So we'll go at one level and again, one level up and go into the static folder and in the static folder we we'll go inside the CSS material folder and here we'll look for bootstrap dot min dot CSS by the way this should be href here and now we pass this to theme leaf so th href Here we just need to type the following. I'll just copy this and paste it here and close this. And there is a typo here. This should be bootstrap, bootstrap, bootstrap. Next I'll bring in jQuery and the bootstrap.js file. So script. Yeah, I'll add th source and this should be from webjars jQuery jQuery.js. I'll close that. We can as well use here the minified version jQuery.min.js. So, because of the WebJar locator we installed, we don't need to specify the version of the jQuery we are using here. Next, I'll import the bootstrap.js file. I'll copy this and paste it here once more and change this to bootstrap. I have here a typo, this should be script, 
and script here as well i'll also just create a custom css file so all right click here and create a new css file i'll call it style.css and i will import that in the main layout as well so i'll just copy this here and paste it here and this should be then style.css I'll close that and pass it to timely this should be from CSS style.css then I'll close this tag With all of this in place, I will then head over to the Bootswash page and look for this material theme. And here I'll copy this header. So I'll just click here and copy this code. I'll paste that in the header file here. So with time leave all the tags need to be closed i need to close this here and i'll change this to register then i'll call this one here login then i'll copy this and paste it twice I'll call this profile and users. I will also change this to logout. And this input field here should be of type hidden. So I'll get rid of this placeholder and set the type to hidden. So finally, I'll create an index.html file that makes use of this main layout file here so that we can get to see whether the header and the footer are all included in this main layout.html file. So I'll, do, I'll just create that in this templates folder. Right click here and create a new HTML file. This should be index.html. I'll get rid of this and now we need to import the time leave namespace so xm lns we call it th this should be from http www.timeleaf.org and also the layout dialect namespace so again here so again here i'll just copy this and paste it here we call that layout and this is from http www dot our track dot net dot nz timely forward slash layout and in order to make use of the layout page here all we need to do is to type here layout decorate and we specify the location of the layout so we can do that like this with this expression this is from fragment main underscore layout we don't need to 
at the dot html extension so with all of this on place let's create a main controller and see whether this will be displayed by the way inside here i can then create a div and use the layout fragment here we call it content and here i'll also use the container class this is all from bootstrap And now also add here another div with a class of Jumbotron. And in this Jumbotron, I'll just paste some domain text. So P. Now, in order to see this page, we need to create a controller. So I'll create here a new class called index controller. And I also like to have the controllers in a separate package. I'll just call this index controller. I'll annotate it with add controller annotation. And then I'll create a method here that responds to the default route. So public string show index page. This should return the location of the page which by default should be in the templates folder so i'll add here a git mapping annotation and passing the default route now with all of this in place we can now run the application and see how it looks like oh by the way i have here a mistake let me correct this this should be index.html so i'll refactor this rename this should be index.html so I'll save that and on the main application here I'll right click and select run as java application so the application is started I'll open up the browser and navigate to localhost 8080 so this is because of Spring Security, we need to disable it for the moment. So I'll open up the application.properties file. And here I'll type the following security. Basic enabled. I'll set this to false. I'll save this. And you see the application is restarting. That is because of the DevTools dependency that we added. That is done, I'll open up the browser again and refresh this and we get the following. So this is kind of hanging up here. I'll need to add a pattern between this Jumbotron and the header. Back in this ties.css file here, I'll create a class called MySpace, for example. And I'll set pattern top to say 20 pixels index.html5 this one i'll add my space here save it and refresh the browser and you see we get this copy here so in the next video we are going to start implementing the register process and the others until then see you